Nina Zigarevich here. And in the other screen, well, I don't know how you see them, but we have a couple and they are? Tony Abram. Marge Abram. And then in the other screen is? Marcy Labaki. So again, welcome to Prayer for America. And uh, just take a quick moment right now and make this a watch party or share this. Have your friends join you tonight as we pray for America, we pray for the nations, and we will pray for you and your needs. So uh, jot us a quick note uh, to any one of us that you see on the screen and uh, get through to us right now. Let us know that you are watching and send us your prayer requests. If we get the request during the broadcast, we will pray for you during the broadcast. If it comes after, we will still pray for you. But do let us know what God is doing in your life, because we know that God is answering prayer. We have been hearing uh, of answers to prayer. We have been hearing of people uh, getting better, people being healed, and God is no different today. So God is getting ready to do something new, something special. And uh, again, welcome to Prayer for America. As I've said before, it is not just Prayer for America, though that's how we started. And that is still our emphasis because America needs revival. Mm, yeah. But we are also praying for the nations and we are praying for needs, specific needs. So let us know and we will pray for you. Well, God richly bless you, those who are joining us in the United States and Canada and in other nations of the world. Welcome to Prayer for America and the nations. God richly bless you. And let me, uh, oh, Nina, you had something oh. that you wanted to say right off the start I just, before I give it to Brother Tony. I just wanna encourage you as we always do, We this broadcast is to encourage you that you may feel God God's love coming through, that you could have a breakthrough in your life and that you could feel God's love and God's healing power in your life. So that is why we do this, because we love you and we want you to experience God at a new level. I was reading the Bible today and Psalm 91 verse one, uh, 14 through 16, and it talks about the I wills of God. It's not I may be or someday, but it says I will. And the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. So if you need rescuing, he's going to be your rescuer. I will protect those who trust in my name. Do you need protection today? He's there to protect you. When you call on me, I will answer. So he's going to answer your prayer request. As we're praying today for you, he's going to answer you. He's going to heal you. You're going to feel that breakthrough in your life. I will be with them in trouble. Are you in trouble? You need God's help. You need God's help. He's ready there to help you. I will rescue you. I will honor you. So God will rescue and he will honor you against your enemies. He will honor you. And I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. So wonderful promise. That means even if you're sick today, you're not going to die because you are going to live a long life. So trust God. He is amazing. And there's great stuff coming ahead in this year. Amen. 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 And uh, before I, 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 I'm about to pass it to Brother Tony, but before I do, I just sense we need to pray for someone who is special and dear to all of mm -hmm. us. Uh, Michelle Heimsa, one of our dear friends and colleagues in ministry, she's on her way to Ukraine, and the trip started off with a flight delay, um, accidental. Uh, cancellation of her entire itinerary by Expedia, mm -hmm. and then uh, her getting to Chicago by a miracle of God, and now uh, boarding or about to board her flight to Turkey and on to Ukraine for ministry, and uh, yes, there are valiant soldiers like Sister Michelle who are out there despite the COVID issues right. and lockdowns, ministering and continuing to plow ahead, and we want to pray for Sister Michelle right now for God's uh, safety and protection and blessing upon her and upon the ministry that God has ahead for her in the nation of Ukraine. And if you are in Ukraine, you'll probably be seeing her shortly. God bless you. Brother Tony, would you pray for Sister Michelle and then greet the people? 
Our Father and our God, we, we've prayed it several times today for Michelle, but now yes. we join together, yes. and what you said were in two Jesus. or three, uh, you're in, in the Jesus. midst, and if two agree, it would be done, and we send the word. Lord, even the difficulty that has been happening with the flights, we believe that it is in the will of God. Because we pray for our dear sister, that you surround her with the angels of God, that the 91st Psalm, and with all its promises, will cover her and keep her, Lord, and that not only does she have a safe trip there and back, but that she will be blessed, and that the souls will be saved, people will find answer to prayer, the sick will be healed, uh, the weak will be strengthened, and that, Lord, you're going to use her in a very special way. Lord, we have known her for most of her life, and, Lord, uh, she has been a blessing to many. And we just ask in the name of Jesus that you bless her and strengthen her and keep her in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, Brother Walter said for me to continue on after we pray for Michelle, but uh, I, I'm happy. I'm happy in Jesus. And you know, God's people are the happiest people on earth. Uh, and I believe that in this day and age, when things may seem very difficult, that we may be wanting happiness. Well, you know, there are ways to be happy. I think of the 91st Psalm that our dear sister Nina has just spoke to us about. Well, my wife Marge and I nightly quote the whole scripture to each other, uh, the whole 91st Psalm, except we use, maybe because we're older, we use the King James version of it. But that is filled, it makes us happy when we see the wonderful promises of God. Why are we happy? We are happy because we are forgiven. We are happy when we are merciful. We are happy when those we help and hope for are in Christ. We are happy when we are generous, when we're able to give. Happy are those who follow the, God's word, and that's the Bible. That's the 91st Psalm, as Nina uh, quoted to us a little bit ago. Happy are those who are anticipating or are expecting, anticipating too, expecting the return of the Lord Jesus Christ when that trumpet sounds. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not looking for the undertaker. I know if the Lord waits uh, long, I'll, have, I'll probably have a visit with him. But I'm looking for the uppertaker when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. The wise men are happy when he finds wisdom and understanding. Nothing makes a person who has wisdom more happy than when they find more of the wisdom of God. And the Bible says that God gives wisdom. Ask of the Lord in James, and the Lord will give you wisdom. We are happy, aren't we, Marge, when we trust the Lord yes, in you. every area of our life. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Praise the Lord. Don't you have something about the happiness we yes, were talking about? I was about just before. thinking about the 37th Psalm which says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. And commit your way to the Lord. Trust also him, and he will bring it to pass. Rest mm -hmm. in the Lord then, and, and wait patiently for him. So sometimes we have to wait. We don't see the answer right away. We want to see the answer right away, but sometimes we have yes. to wait patiently. Yes. And, uh, and I'm so glad that when we delight ourselves in the Lord and the steps of a good man or a good woman are ordered of the Lord. And I'm thinking of a testimony that happened in Chile. Oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Chile, 
uh, when we were about to have a crusade there in it, we, Santiago. We were already had the crusade, and there was two unsaved men who were had run a printing, printing press. We were using their tracks that they made for us. And uh, well, it pays. It, we were happy. Yes. And here we saw a sad person, a woman, and... Uh, in the park. In the park. That's when we, before the crusade, that yeah. one was. Uh, that's right, a and couple of days before. And I, and you, you felt led to look at that poor woman. And you went over and you gave her one of our tracks. And it and had an invitation on the one side to for come her to, to the come crusade. to the crusade. And she looked very unhappy, but she did come to the crusade. Later, we found out. And she had a child that had meningitis, ben, meningitis a, a baby actually that had meningitis and God wonderfully healed that baby and she came to the Lord. It was a wonderful testimony. And it's because we were happy as we were giving our testimony there in the park. Yes, We were about to have the crusade, but we were happy that we could share the gospel. And I believe when we share the gospel, there's no greater happiness except our own salvation, but sharing with others and bringing them to Jesus, seeing them come to Jesus. And you, you know, Marge, one little uh, extra, a little PS, a postscript on it, uh, how mm -hmm. that the two brothers that were printers, we owed them money. And so they came to the crusade. They both got saved. And four or five years later, not only were they had they been saved, but uh, they became uh, pastors. Yes. God had saved them and called them to the ministry. Why? Because we were happy. And God's people are happy people. And I can see Walter and Nina and Sister Marcy. They all look happy to me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yes, they are. We can do it, can we? <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. That is exactly what I was about to say. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And despite circumstances, despite difficulties, we can rejoice in the Lord always. And Paul said, again, I say rejoice. Well, praise God. We're happy you joined us this evening here in America uh, morning, perhaps, and uh, we're in your part of the world. And of course, we do have folks watching us in Asia and in Africa. And so good morning to you uh, and good evening to those in North America and South America, as well as the Caribbean. God richly bless you. Thank you for joining us on Prayer for America. As we continue, we will be praying for America. We will be praying for the nations, and we will be praying for your needs. We will be praying for healing. We'll be praying for salvation. We'll be praying for deliverance. We'll be praying for breakthroughs in your finances. So get your friends to connect right now. Share this on your, uh, on your page so that your friends can be watching together with you right now as we go to Sister Marcy. Amen. I greet you in the name of the Lord, the name that is higher than any name, the name of Jesus. I think I've shared the testimony. I don't remember if I shared it on this broadcast, not this one, but on this uh, Zoom uh, technology or not, or I did it off, off screen. But uh, when uh, I prayed for this child that uh, she, uh, she, she stuck her foot in the I think I did share it. And all I said was Jesus, 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 because only he could heal this foot that was turning black from the toes up. And he did, he healed her. And it kind of scared me because we're not used to miracles. We think, oh, it's gonna heal slowly. And somehow that would be easier for us to accept. But when it's a miracle, I was like shocked. The kid wanted to crawl and I put her down. The mother said, put her down on the floor. I put her down and I'm like, oh, 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 because I saw how, how severed it was before. And now that God made it whole and Jesus name is higher than any problem you can have and just think when you call, when you tuned in to join all of us in prayer you have stepped up onto holy ground 
how can you talk to God from an unholy ground? That means you stepped up on a higher level than complaining, moaning, and groaning. You step or having fear or doubt and our unbelief. You're believing that when you pray, you'll be talking to the almighty God who is able to do all things. Impossible things to us. Our mind can't even comprehend miracles. We're looking, we're like, oh, this still should be mending. We need to sew it up. We need to do something with it. And God just does a miracle and fixes things without our, without these geniuses that we think we are. God is able to do these things. And God is able to do something in your life. Uh, today, as you tuned in and you're, you're watching, you're listening, Start believing that God is the almighty God and that the name of Jesus is above every name, any disease, whatever name that disease has, whatever name that problem has, whatever the difficulty, call upon the name of the Lord. Jesus, help me. Jesus, I give this care into your hands. Jesus, I give this problem into your hands. And as I think Marge read, where we need to rest in the Lord and be peaceful. Because when we give it into his hands, showing him faith and trust is relaxing and trusting and just go to sleep. God will work it out in Jesus' name. Amen. God will work it out, as Sister Marcy just said. Absolutely. God answers prayer. If we ask anything according to his will, according to uh, 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. So we know that he hears us, we know that he answers and we have the answer. By faith, we receive the answer the moment we pray and we begin to believe and thank God until that manifestation visibly comes in our life or in that person we are praying for. So tonight, if you have a prayer need, do jot us down a, a quick note and we will include you. And thank you those that are sharing this on your feed so that others can also uh, watch and enjoy and be blessed by these uh, words of encouragement and the prayers that are being prayed on this broadcast. And so at this time, Let's pray for those who are in need physically. Yes. And um, uh, Brother Tony, would you pray for, um, uh, for those that are sick, uh, if that's what the Lord is leading, or maybe the Lord is leading you in another direction, or maybe the Lord is leading you for salvation or something else? Today we received a number of uh, requests for prayer. Uh, I don't give out my phone number, but our phone still, it's pretty busy. And uh, both Marge and I, but mostly it's people with needs. I prefer when people have needs to send an email or a, or a text. Uh, but uh, anyways, whatever it is, we pray because God wants us to pray. And Father, tonight, yes. as we join together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, this broadcast that can reach we know around the world, and Lord, uh, it would be good for people with needs to tune in, Lord, and in the name of Jesus, Lord, I realize that some of these people that we pray for may not be watching or listening at this moment. Lord, they're, they may be asleep. They may be there like the two pastor's wives that are suffering in the hospital there in the Philippines. We send the word, Lord. Uh, you see the text that I, I've been receiving in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, you see the people that have been wanting to reach my sister-in-law, Lord, uh, who is very, very bad shape. Uh, and, Lord, we're unable to uh, uh, do that for them. But, Lord, we can, we, can, we can bombard heaven with our prayers 
And in the name of Jesus, we send the word, Lord, not just to the Philippines, but there to Illinois. And let your divine healing power flow into our sister. Then, Lord, up into uh, northern Canada. Lord, for Tim, you see the, see the test he's going through right now, Lord. And Lord, I can't explain all the things on, as we pray, but Lord, you see the, what he's going through. And then, Lord, uh, for the one that there, his son is trying to minister to that is wanting to commit suicide, uh, we provide that spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and then, Lord, for Linda Rogers over in California, Lord, you see that pancreas cancer. We curse that cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and then, Lord, up in, um, once again, Lord, in Illinois, uh, to for Kenny, uh, Lord, uh, for him and his family, they need a real move of God. And then for Yolanda, as she goes into Mexico, Lord, uh, Oh, Father, living there, Lord, the rest of her life, no doubt. Uh, but, Lord, minister to her uh, in the name of Jesus. And then Rick in British Columbia, who is going to be operated on that knee, probably a knee replacement, Lord, help him. Yes. Then Cammy up in uh, the Yukon area, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we send the word to that broken knee, uh, Oh, Lord, uh, Davina, over in uh, the UK, Lord, uh, we ask in Jesus' name, you've been doing good, wonderful things for her. Let it be completely 100% healed. Uh, and then Helen, Lord, uh, up in uh, uh, the northern part near Scotland, Lord, uh, where she is all these years having lost her husband. And then that son who has not come home for years. Uh, Lord, we don't understand, uh, but Lord, we send the word uh, that you would speak to his heart. Uh, you see that mother, how she's longing uh, for have unity back in their home. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, then for Anne, Lord, uh, in Holland, uh, heal that back uh, the condition in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, you know she's up in age and she's suffering. Uh, then David over in Sri Lanka. We don't know all the need there, but Lord, uh, you know the need uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, oh, God, and in New Zealand to the Dowies, Lord. Uh, oh, undertake, I pray, in Jesus' name. Uh, and then Betty up in uh, uh, Alberta or Saskatchewan, Lord, uh, where her daughter-in-law, uh, is suffering with that cancer. And Lord, we ask in Jesus' name uh, that you undertake. Uh, and then for Darla in Japan, uh, healing throughout her whole body. And then, Lord, uh, you see how the Okies uh, and the others there have been requesting us to pray with them uh, for an outpouring of the Spirit of God across Japan. Uh, but Lord, it's not only Japan. Uh, it's America, it's Canada, it's uh, wow. Europe, Lord. It's around the world where we need to see an outpouring of the Spirit of God uh, in Jesus Christ's name. Uh, in Jesus Christ's name, uh, we send the word to all of these. Uh, and as Brother Walter said, to pray for those needs. Uh, and now, Lord, there'll be some more needs coming in, uh, requests, uh, Brother Walter and Sister Nina will be receiving them. Uh, and Lord, we can pray together and believe together that you will do great uh, and wonderful things uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray for Sister Marcy and her husband Walter and their family that you bless them, keep them, uh, use them. Uh, in the name of Jesus, and of course, from Brother Walter and, and Sister Nina, we ask, Lord, that you bless their ministry, bless their family too, Lord. Pour out your spirit upon them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, as he coordinates, as he works, Lord, in so many areas. And then, Lord, we do pray 
uh, for uh, Tom's wife's, uh, Bev's uh, father, Lord, uh, that he will come in that personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and Lord, we can go on and on. Uh, so many have needs. Uh, you see the ones requesting prayer. Lord, in Jesus' name, we send the word. We send the word, Lord, in Jesus' name. You said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And God sent his word, the word, and he healed them and delivered them from destruction. In Jesus Christ's name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you that you have heard these prayers. Mm. You are answering these prayers. Yes, and we Lord. thank you for the answer. Yes, for Lord. by faith, we have the answer. Oh, and Lord, we thank you thank for Jesus. healing. We thank you for delivering. We thank you for protecting. Jesus. We thank you for intervening in the lives of those that we're prayed for right now and those that may not have been mentioned by name but are in need of healing from cancer or from arthritis or from uh, problems with the eyesight or brain fog or migraines in the name of Jesus I cast those diseases out and I speak be healed in the name of Jesus Christ right now wherever you are at at the sound of my voice be healed in the name of Jesus Christ the power Thank of God you, is coming over you, you right Jesus. now like electricity, like, like liquid fire yeah. touching you, healing you, expelling that sickness, expelling those cancerous cells and bringing healing, restoration in your body, in your mind, in the name of Jesus Christ right now. And Father, I, um, we thank you that you are with Sister Michelle, that you are providing and meeting her needs and working on her flights. And Lord, we thank you for her safety. Lord, I also lift up my sister Nina, who went with a missions team to Mexico, that you would protect them and use them mightily. And Lord, they may be on their return already. Protect them and keep them in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank Thank you. We thank you for the answer yes, to prayer Lord, in Jesus. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen and amen. Sister Marcy, is there any other particular need or anything the Lord is leading you to pray for? Would you just lead out? Dear Lord, we come to you in the name of, the, of Jesus, Father. You told us to pray in your name and to come to the Father. And you said, I won't have to. We wouldn't have to pray to Jesus, but to the Father through Jesus. So we come to you, Lord, for revival. The church needs a revival, Lord. We know that you're aware of it, but we on this earth need to ask you to send a revival. And let the revival start with us. With everyone that's watching, with everyone that's hearing, all the Christians that are on board, today with this broadcast lord let us say to to you lord let let this spirit of god move upon every heart and to say start that revival with me lord start it with me start it in my heart start it in my marriage start it in my home start it in my finances start it in in my church lord in my pastor in my leader in my in my state, in my, in my city, in my community, in my country, Lord, start it now in the name of Jesus and become aware of what God is saying to you. Father, My sister Marcy kind of got disconnected there, but she was praying. And as soon as she comes back online, we will have her back online. Yeah. But in the meantime, we are praying for your needs and we are praying for, um, for those who are writing in. And if you cannot write in, then uh, um, just jot us a quick note later and let us know if we get the request yeah. after the broadcast, we will still pray for you. Well, we're, we, we need to pray and not forget the people in, in uh, Texas and uh, yeah. uh, wherever it's been, they've been hit by bad weather. 
Um, amen. Absolutely. We, um, our, our own family there, Rachel and Joe and their children, they've been uh, uh, affected by the uh, storm. They were running uh, low on water. Uh, power outages were coming and going all the time. God has protected them. And thankfully, they did not have any burst pipes in their home. But there are many who have had that, many who are suffering, many who are in need, especially in Texas, but not only in Texas. There are other parts of the country where people have been affected uh, by severe weather that they do not mm -hmm. normally experience. Uh, uh, snow mm, itself is not a novelty, but but when you have this kind of severe weather in places where they do not normally have it, it can really wreak, wreak havoc. And that is what has happened. And so, Father, in the name of yes. Jesus Christ, we bring yes. those um, who are, first of all, those in the household of faith, yes. in the state of Texas, in the yes. surrounding yes. states, uh, in all yes. the regions of this nation that have been affected by yes. the severe yes. weather. And in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, we pray, oh God, that their needs would be met. We pray that the first responders, we pray that the help aid agencies will get to them as quickly as possible. And Lord, we pray for people all over that state of Texas. I mean, even down to the coast of the Gulf, they were affected. Lord, we pray that their electricity grid will be fixed rapidly and that they would be able to get everybody back, powered back up. And Lord, we pray that you would make every provision. Lord, those that have suffered severe damage, help them as they cope with that. Lord, there are people uh, searching for food in stores where there are empty shelves. Father, we pray that truckloads of food will get through to those stores, in this, to the people through the stores quickly in the name of Jesus. And we pray that... Uh, uh, that FEMA and whatever aid agencies need to be activated, they would quickly and rapidly respond the way that it is necessary to respond in this situation. And Father, we pray that uh, those who uh, do not have proper heat and do not have proper shelter this moment because of uh, problems that have occurred in their homes, that you would make a way, that you would make provision for them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And Lord God, we do pray, not only for the state of Texas, but especially for the state of Texas, that Lord, you would give those in governmental authority positions and those controlling the power grid wisdom and the help that they need to accomplish what is immediately needed to, in that state of Texas, as well as surrounding states and all regions that were affected by this severe weather in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, may this snow be a precursor to the cleansing that you are sending to this nation. May the snow be a symbolic, uh, uh, have a also symbolic meaning of cleansing that shall come from your Holy Spirit. And Lord, for the power of the Holy Spirit that will be poured out on this nation. For Lord, we need revival in this nation. We need people who think the way you want them to think, who have wisdom from you, because Lord, uh, human wisdom has failed in this situation. And Lord, we pray for divine intervention, yes, divine Lord. wisdom in Jesus' yes, name, yes, in Lord. Jesus' yes, name. Amen yes, and amen. Praise God. It looks like we may have lost Sister Marcy again. And when she comes back on, we'll have her join in here. Um, she may be having some difficulties with her feed, but we are continuing to pray. Uh, we're praying for America. We are praying for the nations. We are praying for specific needs. And uh, Brother Tony, I think you were about to say something there. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of people are suffering in and then the electric bills, I don't know if you noticed that uh, some people that normally would pay 100 or 200 a month is up to 17,000 uh, getting bills. And uh, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's crazy. And I, of course the government's gonna do something about that. But uh, there's a lot, been a lot of suffering with the people. And, uh, and today, do you know that one of the, that was the mercy of God, 241 people on that plane when that uh, 
when that engine blew apart mm -hmm. on that 777. And it was supposed to be one of the safest planes ever made. And yet nothing is really safe. Uh, things can happen. Uh, I've got something, since we've been praying, I've got something I jotted down today. I, I'd like to read it. It'll only take about a minute. It's the prayer of the saint. It, it uh, lists the grace of God sustains me. The joy of the Lord strengthens me. The love of God uplifts me. The power of the Lord endues me. The comfort of the Lord sustains me. The plans of the Lord direct me. The provision of the Lord enables me. The wisdom of the Lord guides me. The knowledge of the Lord enlightens me. The kindness of the Lord undergirds me. The voice of the Lord calms me. The strength of the Lord encourages me. The goodness of the Lord fills me. The spirit of the Lord moves me. The song of the Lord heals me. The breath of the Lord awakens me. The praise of the Lord lifts me. The eve of the Lord, the eye of the Lord, sorry, uh, is upon me. The law of the Lord orders me. The sweetness of the Lord feeds me. The rock of the Lord hides me. The oil of the Lord anoints me. The thought of the Lord preserves me. Protect and encourage me. Amen. Amen. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Praise, Praise God. That is so true. And we're so happy um, that those uh, we are so relieved and happy those people on that airplane landed safely. Amen. And um, and we have heard about people having these gigantic electrical bills. We trust that those things get sorted out. And uh, we do um, continue to pray for the people in Texas and other regions that have been affected by the severe weather. But uh, Sister Marcy, we don't know if that weather is what caused your internet to go down there for a moment, but we lost you there for a few moments as you were praying. Uh, and then uh, we I have you back, but we have you back. We're, we're glad that you were, you didn't go to heaven and back, <laughs> but you're back. Okay. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Would you take it from here and, and, and share what you have for us today? Yes, I love what uh, Brother Tony was sharing. And it came to me that the armor of the Lord fights for me yeah. and fights on my behalf. You know, we always say the battle is the Lord's. How does it become the Lord's? When the Lord covers you, the armor is your covering. The word covers you. If you read each part of the armor, it's each part of the word how the word it could be a helmet sort of the spirit and on it, uh, shoes of peace all of that is the word and the word is god so if god is covering you can you imagine this god is covering you you put all of god on you and now you're walking around no wonder the devil is like uh hiding behind corners when we we get around because he could see that this is the lord walking not you we need to hide behind the lord like a little child hiding behind the father and then peeking out from behind the father and saying i'll get you i'll get you because you know what the father is uh, up front and he knows the child knows that he, the father, will protect the child. So he's so bold behind there and saying, oh, I'm going to whip you. I'm going to whip you. My daddy will fix you. <laughs> and this is, I believe, how we need to put the armor on and maybe not say those things to the devil, but walk in that armor and God will fight for us. That's how the battle becomes the Lord's. And people say, how does it become the Lord's? Put the Lord on. It becomes his battle. Amen and amen. And sometimes we neglect to 
put on that whole armor as we are supposed to. It's not just a one-time thing. Oh, I did it, you know, five years ago, 10 years ago. No, daily, we need the armor of God in our lives and we need to daily pray. In fact, the apostle Paul talked about praying without ceasing and not only praying with our understanding, meaning in the language that we speak, but praying in the Holy Spirit, praying in those tongues that the Holy Spirit gives us, because then we for sure pray according to the will of God in concerning that situation that we are praying for. Well, praise God. We are glad that everybody is back on here <laughs> and that Sister Marcy wasn't raptured just yet. <laughs> uh, uh, and it was only a little glitch in the uh, Wi-Fi connection. So we're back. And uh, we're glad that you have joined us. And if you haven't joined us before, this is our broadcast called Prayer for America. But we not only pray for America, uh, though that has been our emphasis, praying for revival in America, praying for God's will to be done in this nation. But we have been praying for the nations because this broadcast is being watched by people in various nations of the world, particularly by pastors and leaders in places like Nepal and China and Japan and Africa Ukraine. And, and Ukraine and in Russia and in places like Cuba and Argentina and Canada and here in the United States. And so uh, uh, just keep uh, trusting the Lord. We want to encourage you. We have been praying. We are going to continue to pray. But sometimes you get frustrated because you did not see the answer immediately or you don't see it happening before your eyes. But as I've said often on this broadcast, when you plant a seed, you don't get tomatoes the next day. You have to allow that seed to get into the ground and rearrange the soil, Sister Marcy says and then you know it actually literally dies and that shell dies and then that thing that just breaks open and a little shoot begins to come out of that seed and before you know it it's out of the ground and then it starts growing into a bush or a tree and then we see the fruit on there and we plant one seed but we see a lot of fruit a lot of tomatoes or oranges whatever it is we have put in the ground but don't go back and disturb that soil to see if something's coming out. Mm -hmm. That's what some people do by their lack of faith, by their wrong confession, instead of confessing faith, instead of speaking that they have received the promise of God, they begin to doubt, they begin to talk about their feelings or circumstances, and they get their eyes off the Lord and begin to go and like, uh, you know, like kids go in and just see when's that plant going to come out and they go and sometimes destroy that plant before it gets a chance to get out of the ground. So don't do that. You planted that seed, you water it, and you keep praising God, you keep thanking God, and you know what? You will see that answer if you haven't already. Now, there are miracles which are instantaneous, and there are healings, and God answers prayers in different ways. And sometimes a package is a little different than we expected, but God does answer Amen. prayer. Amen. I think Sister Marge wants to say something. We haven't heard much from her this evening. Praise the Lord. Brother Walter, Sister Nina, Sister Marcy, and all of you that are listening. Uh, you know, God is so good to take care of us. I was thinking of myself as a child. We had moved from Alberta to British Columbia and uh, and we were in a new new town. We had been in on a in the country, and here we moved to the city. And it was Sunday morning, as the custom was for us to go to Sunday school on Sunday morning. My sister and I—I I was eight years old, and she was six. We started out to go to to the church for the Sunday school, and they said it was just about a block or two from the main street, but we ended up on the main street and we were lost. What a terrible feeling it was. And my sister started to cry. I was trying to comfort her and uh, we just didn't know what to do. We were just lost. And uh, and there was a man there, <laughs> he, he was by the candy store and he saw my sister crying. And so he brought some candy out for us, but anyway, it wasn't a little while we we just looked i says god i know you'll take care of us i know you will in my little faith 
uh, as a child and I said, and I looked up the street and who was coming down the street was my elder brother. And he found us there. Of course, he took us home. But you know, I think about Jesus, our elder brother. He's the one that found us when we were lost, brought us to himself. And uh, my brother was the one that helped us at that time. And thank God for his, his care for us. But God cares about you if you're watching right now he cares about you because he sent his wonderful son jesus to give us life and life abundantly hallelujah were, were you happy when you saw andy oh i think we were dancing up and down on that street <laughs> when we saw my brother <laughs> it was but so you you must have been a little more than eight because you got saved when you were eight and it was right blended. after that we right just after. moved oh yeah, yeah. Okay. right after that i'm, I'm learning <laughs> <laughs> We've only been married 58 years. <laughs> and by the way, talking about being saved, this past Wednesday, uh, of course, if you're hearing this sometime in the future or watching this, but I celebrated my 64th birthday, spiritual birthday. I couldn't remember the first one. I used to tell my mom uh, this, though it was it's not really true, but I used to tease her. I says, Mom... You know, because she always says she was the mother, you know, I was the firstborn and all that. And how mothers have suffered many times when they bring their children into the world. And uh, yeah, I says, yeah, well, mom, I remember when uh, Dr. Pollock slapped me. He <laughs> said, you don't remember that. No, I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I remember my second birth. And that's when I was born again. And when everything changed, when I became a new creature in Christ, old things passed away, all things became new. 64 years ago, that's a long time. Yes. Praise Amen. Lord. Praise God. And Brother Tony or Sister Marge, which one of you would one of you lead the people in receiving Christ as their Savior? Someone may have just, quote unquote, accidentally tuned in here. And they've never, maybe they have even, they've gone to church perhaps, but they have not been born again. We do not want to leave this broadcast without having the opportunity to receive Christ as a Savior. So would you lead people? Uh, Praise the Lord. Brother Walter, I'll be so happy to. I'm so thankful that I received the Lord at that young age. I was eight years old, but I knew that I was saved. And the next day I went to school testifying to my uh, schoolmates that I, Jesus had come into my heart. So today, if you're listening or if it is uh, on the other side of the world, if you're listening and you've never given your life to the Lord, you've never confessed him as your Lord and Savior, bow your heads now and just pray this prayer of repentance, the sinner's prayer, we call it. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I know that I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. I know I'm a sinner. I have sinned against you. And I know that you love me because you died for me. I know you love me because you died. For me. And I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to come into my Cleanse life. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all sin. Cleanse me from all Make sin. me your child. Make me your child. Just come into my life and change my life completely. Come, Just come into my life and change my life completely. I want to be your child. I want to be your I child. I ask this in Jesus' name. I ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And now do three things every day. If you pray that prayer that my wife led you in, uh, then uh, you need to do three things. The let the joy of the Lord and that abundant life and the goodness of God come into your life. You need to first start talking to God. We call it prayer, but you can talk to him. You say, well, I don't know how to pray. That's what you know how to talk to people, don't you? You know how to say good morning to people. Try talking to God that way, and you'll see you'll want to talk to him more and more. And then second, I'll let God talk to you. When you read the Bible, and I suggest if you have just received him for, into your heart and life, uh, or if you have 
been backslidden and you have re uh, dedicated your life to the Lord and you said from this time on I'm going to really live for God well then let God talk to you and as you read the Bible that's God speaking to you and and it's the Bible the New Testament is God's perfect will for your life and you might start with the book of John the, the gospel of John and uh, it, it talks very much about what you did and then the third thing uh, be, get part of a Bible believing church and tell somebody else because the Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ uh, you would be saved so tell someone else that hey I've surrendered my life to Jesus I remember that's what I did what did, did you do that yes I a started after... to talk to everyone about the Lord amen amen brother Walter that if there's anyone mm -hmm. out there Praise God. Tell them what you've done. Tell them what you've Your done. Your family, yeah. what you've done. Amen. And you are not too young or too old to receive Jesus into your heart. And you have not done that yet. Do that because that is the most important decision in your life. And that is truly a life or death decision to live eternally with the Lord or to go to eternal damnation. So you want to make the right decision. And that is to become a follower of Jesus and follow after him. Well, um, we, uh, we've, we switched this broadcast to Sunday night and I hope that we're not causing confusion out there. But last night I was, uh, we were at a wedding. I was officiating a wedding, wonderful wedding and a shout out to Vitaly and Veronica. God richly bless you on your new life as a married couple. Amen. May the Lord bless you richly. And um, this morning, very early, I was on in Ukraine. Well, I was mm -hmm. able to do that through Zoom, of course. I, 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 I don't, uh, I couldn't travel <laughs> that quickly from the wedding he to be- zooming around. <laughs> I was zooming around, <laughs> but it wasn't, uh, uh, it wasn't, uh, I couldn't uh, fly that mm -hmm. quickly. Uh, but Sister Michelle is on her way to the Ukraine right now. Uh, but uh, so uh, we will try to switch back to Saturday evenings again next week. And if you could join us, join us on Saturday night. We will try to also have some um, midweek uh, um, uh, broadcasts as the Lord leads. We don't do them all the time. And we have been getting requests from people in different parts okay. of the world, especially, um, especially from people in Ukraine and other parts of the former Soviet Union, Russia, Ukraine, people that uh, can't understand, would like to have joined in these uh, broadcasts, but they don't understand. Someone will, some of them will understand just a few words. English is certainly not their first language. It may not be a language they know, but many people follow us in those nations. And so um, we may start doing some days of the week, a different language broadcast specifically geared to uh, other parts of the world. They'll probably do a Russian broadcast and a Spanish broadcast because we have a lot of people who speak Spanish who are watching us as well. Um, but right now, I want us to pray for America and then for the nations of the world. And Neil, you have a special prayer. But before we do that, Marcy or, or Tony or Marge, uh, it, oh, we lost Marcy again for a oh, moment boy. there. Um, uh, Tony or Marge, is there anything else you want to say before we start praying for the nations and for America? Well, the, the country needs a real real move of God, there's no doubt about that. Things aren't going very well, and we need to really pray. And, and not only for America, but for the, all the other nations. Uh, we, we need to see a move of God. And uh, with the pandemic, it just shows what could happen in a very short time. I mean, I can hardly believe that uh, we could have a year like this. But here we are, and yet uh, God, God is precious, and He's been with us, and uh, He's still on the throne. He's still hearing and answering prayer, and it just shows how life can be so short, 
And I'm glad to see our sister Marcy come back uh, to us. Can you hear me, Sister Marcy? Yes, I can hear you. <clears throat> hey, on and off, on and off. I don't know if you, if you guys uh, realize that there's times that you're off oh. and you're, you're all frozen too. So I don't know if it's uh, uh, from this side or there. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I fix I this. We've been able to continue on. So right now you're frozen. Right. Um, okay. Well, Anina, would you pray that prayer mm. right now? And uh, I'm sure Sister Marcy will uh, be back on here. I think the feed, um, her feed is having some difficulties this evening, mm. but we're going to continue. So Nina, would you yeah. pray right now? Of course. Amen. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness to us every morning. Thank you that your word never changes and is full of power and hope. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You said our prayer can move mountains. And according to James 5, 16, a fervent, persistent prayer of a righteous person produces wonderful results. We thank you, Lord, that you are answering us as we pray. We praise your name for surely your word doesn't return void, but it prospers in all that is it sent to do. We trust you, Lord. We declare that your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven in our nation we thank you lord that your rule from heaven and nothing is hidden from you for there is nothing hidden that will not become evident nor anything secret that will not be known and come out into the open according to luke 8 17 thank you lord that your light will illuminate the evil that has been hidden Thank you, Father. Your word says that you sit in the heavens and you laugh at the rebellion of the nations. Father, we ask that you send the spirit of conviction to those in our nation encouraging evil. Send a mighty move of the Holy Spirit. Use us, O oh Lord, to shine bright and bring your salvation message to a dying world. May revival break out in us first and may it radiate to every town, city, and state and to everyone in authority and in the leadership position of this nation. Hover over Washington, D.C. with your Holy Spirit, bringing justice and truth. Save us. Save this nation, O oh Lord. May your glory fall upon this country and throughout the world. May many repent and receive you as their Lord and Savior. Father, may hearts be changed, spiritual eyes opened. May people be healed and delivered in Jesus' name. Father, we overturn the wicked decree of abortion in this country. Forgive us, O oh Lord. These babies are crying for justice. Come quickly, spirit of revival. We want to see your power manifested, your presence in our midst to break every demonic hold on the hearts of people in this nation. We decree in Jesus' name the casting down of every strategy of the enemy. Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means will hurt you, according to Luke 10, 19. Thus, we can bind the stronghold of deception, the stronghold of murder, the stronghold of hatred and lawlessness in Jesus' name. Father, we lose the spirit of righteousness over this country love and life and faith over our nation in Jesus name. We send warring angels according to Psalms 103 20 to administer truth, righteousness and justice. We boldly declare Jesus Lord over the United States of America and we stand in faith that God's plans and purposes will prevail and we humbly ask that you would forgive us and have compassion on us. I'm asking Lord to rise up as you did in the days of old that this nation would see your mighty demonstration of power manifested here on earth lord we thank you jesus may your name be glorified forever amen thank you amen. jesus thank amen you, jesus. and amen and brother tony thank would you, you continue jesus. to lead on as you pray for other nations uh, perhaps asia or whatever thank regions you, of the world the lord leads thank you to you pray you, for father we thank you I remember years ago, Lord, uh, when I purchased this church a shirt, Lord, when we were ministering in uh, Indonesia, and Lord, and even being played, chased by the police, 
And Lord, though we came under no harm, you delivered us each time. There are many believers that are suffering in different parts of the world. Even in Indonesia, it's not easy. Lord, in the name of Jesus, for the Christians that are suffering in China, and Lord, those in uh, Muslim countries, Lord of the East, uh, we pray for them. Even in India, at times there is difficulty for the Christians. And we ask that you would do wonders in keeping them by your power and your spirit. And Lord, we do pray for the nations. We do pray for all those in Asia. We pray for, Lord, we pray for uh, New Zealand. And we pray for Australia. I remember, Lord, years ago when we were being sent by T.O. Osborne, giving us assistance to go to Australia. And because he said uh, that he believed that in the last day from Australia, there would come many, many ministers that would move in the power of God. And Lord, we've yet to see it in its fullness. We have seen uh, a change, but not like uh, we need to see. And Lord, in all the nations of the of that part of the world, uh, Lord, and I do pray for Dr. Adams, uh, Lord, to uh, ask for healing for himself, but Lord, as he ministers there to the sick in that, in that uh, hospital, Lord, uh, that Christian hospital uh, there in, in, uh, in Papua New Guinea, we pray that you would anoint him uh, in Jesus' name, that he leave many to the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and Lord, that many will be healed by the power of God. For we know the Lord, when he is working, uh, there is the doctor in the hospital. He is also uh, ministering in the name of Jesus. And Lord, he'll be there for another six or eight weeks. Uh, Lord, uh, we ask that you watch over him uh, and that you'd set that country afar, aflame, uh, uh, with the Holy Ghost, uh, and then for all the other nations of uh, of uh, of Asia, Lord, uh, Lord, uh, I think of uh, Vietnam and and Thailand uh, and uh, Taiwan uh, and Lord, all those countries, uh, Cambodia, Lord, um, uh, we, uh, Malaysia, all those countries, Bangladesh, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, you see how many people, ministries that write to us from that part of the world, uh, of Lord, from India, and Bangladesh, and Pakistan. Uh, and Lord, we ask that you save those people in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Lord, we could pray for all the nations of the world. Uh, you see them, Lord, uh, from the north to the south, southern hemisphere. Lord, from the east to the west, uh, Lord, move by your spirit and your power, bringing salvation, Lord, even to the dark places of the world, uh, because you said this gospel shall be preached unto all nations, uh, and then, then the end come, uh, and the gospel, the kingdom of God gospel, the gospel with salvation, with healing, with deliverance, uh, with the power and miracles and work of God. So, Lord, move, I pray, throughout the world in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. And Sister Marcy, you are on right now. Would you also pray as the Lord leads you for other regions of the world, perhaps Eastern Europe and Western Europe, Canada, whatever the Lord leads you. Yes. Brother Tony was just praying for Asia, and uh, while well, you got disconnected there for a moment, would you continue to lead on in prayer for other regions as the Lord leads you? Hallelujah. The Lord, um, and his word said, be it unto thee, and that's in the old King James Version, be it unto you, even as you have believed, as you have believed, it will be unto you. He said that to the centurion. When he asked him to send his word and brother Tony just prayed and sent his word to all those countries in Asia 
and all on that side, Taiwan and all those, China and everywhere, be it unto you, even as you have believed that his words were, were, were going to the Lord, to God, and God heard, and God is sending the answers to you. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray again for Canada and for Europe and for Ukraine and Russia and um, wherever else, United States and uh, Mexico and Central and South America, Lord. We just pray for Hawaii, Lord, for Alaska, for the Northwest Territories, Lord, that you will send a mighty move of the Holy Spirit and meet needs. Meet those needs of people who are reaching out to you, Lord, for healing. There's so many people have needs of healing, Lord. Touch and heal, especially the horrible uh, plague or whatever it is of cancer that's going around. Uh, and even in the body of Christ, we pray in the name of Jesus that your people... And even the people who are not your people, but they will come to the church, will come to the people of God and say, please pray for me. Father God, give signs, wonders, and miracles to show them, Lord, that you love them. And the Bible says the goodness of the Lord will lead us to repentance. And we pray that they will see the goodness of the Lord as you touch and heal people and save their souls Father, there are people crying out right now and saying, Lord, save me. Lord, I'm so messed up. I need you. Lord Jesus, touch them and help them to say, Lord, I believe in you. I believe that you died on the cross for me. And receive, I receive you as my personal Savior in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. And uh, Lord, we send your word to the continent of Africa. And Lord, we pray for Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, Congo, Central, Central African Republic, Ivory amen. Coast, the yes, car, Lord. Lord, Liberia. And Lord, around. in the name of Jesus, we send your word to Morocco. We send your word to Kenya, to Zimbabwe, to Rwanda, Malawi, to uh, Ethiopia, Somalia. Sudan, South Sudan, uh, into the northern and the southern parts of that continent, uh, Uganda, and Lord God, uh, uh, Tanzania. Father, in the name of yes. Jesus, we send your word. Lord, touch those, heal those that need healing and deliverance right now. Strengthen your church, oh God. Oh God, may there be a wave of your Holy Spirit, a wave of holiness and new dedication to you empower your church with the holy spirit that many shall arise as evangelists and prophets and pastors and teachers to carry the gospel of jesus christ throughout the continent of africa and to other nations of the world so father we pray for the foreigners who may be in Africa, that they may be saved, like the Chinese workers who are working, building roads, building bridges in uh, various parts of Africa, save them while they are there, that they may return to their nation as evangelists for Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for Israel. We pray for the Middle East. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the protection of your people. We pray for a revival to start up in the, in the Jewish community of Israel, that they may come to know Jesus Christ, Yeshua, as their Messiah. And Father, we send your word. We pray that you will embolden those Messianic Jews, those that have come to know Yeshua, that they would preach him, that they would share him, and that you would protect them as they do that. And Father, we pray that you would raise up Jewish evangelists to conquer the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ in this hour. Father, we pray for the nations surrounding Israel. Jordan, we pray for our friend Mike and the ministries carrying on there. We pray your blessing upon them. We pray your protection upon them. We pray that the church will grow. And Lord, that you would raise up many new leaders to expand the work of God in that nation and surrounding regions. Lord, we pray for Syria, for Lebanon. Uh, Lord, we pray for Iraq, for Egypt.
Egypt, for Libya. Lord, we pray for the Morocco. We pray for uh, for the nations uh, of the Middle East, uh, the uh, Arab uh, nations. Father, we pray for Arab uh, United Arab Emirates. We pray for um, we pray for uh, Saudi Arabia. We pray, Lord, for Yemen. We pray for that whole region that you would move by your Holy Spirit. We pray for Persia, for Iran, that revival would break out there, Lord, for there are many who are searching for truth. There are many who are searching to know the one and true God. And Lord, we know that you are revealing yourself miraculously to people in Iran, even to mullahs. Lord, we pray that many more would come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. And some of them as they travel to foreign lands for work or whatever the reason, may they come in contact with Christians. May they be converted to you, O oh God. Lord, we pray for Iran. We pray for Iraq. We pray, O oh God, for that whole region, for Azerbaijan, for Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, Lord, we pray for Tajikistan. Oh, Father, move by your spirit in Kazakhstan. Oh, God, Tatarstan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we send your word there. We send your word to Crimea, to the Muslim population there, that they may come seeking Jesus Christ as their true Messiah. And Father, we pray for Ukraine. We pray for Russia. We know that there are many Muslim peoples in those nations, and Lord, especially in uh, uh, Russia. And Father, we pray that they would come to know Jesus Christ as their Messiah. And Father, we thank you that you are working in those nations. We thank you that you are raising up new laborers. We thank you that you are working in the Caribbean nations, uh, small and large, Bahamas, Cuba, um, the Lord, uh, in the Dominican in Republic, in Trinidad, Tobago, yes. Lord, even in Haiti, that very needy nation, send a mighty move of God and prosper your people in that nation in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. And, 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 and uh, uh, I, I just sense that there are people that are in financial problems right now, people needing, uh, um, uh, uh, truly people needing uh, God to intervene in their finances. And uh, maybe Sister March, you can pray for those people right now that need a financial breakthrough in their lives. Maybe they need a new job. Maybe they need, uh, uh, they've just suffered many financial losses because of COVID. Uh, now in many regions because of that terrible weather. Would you pray for those people? Heavenly Father, we just bring the nations to you, Lord, and especially in the United States, Lord, for this storm time, Lord, they're having, and Lord, their financial needs, Father, the water supply, the food supply. Father, you said you'd never let the righteous suffer. And but Lord, we pray that every need would be met. Somehow, Lord, send help to them, Lord, that they would have their needs met in Jesus' name. Lord, those yes. that are discouraged, those that are cold and hungry and homeless, Lord. Oh, Father, we send the word to them. Somehow, Lord, let someone help them yes. or let them reach out to you and call upon you. Yes. Lord, all those that are suffering, Lord, yes, in Lord. sin and alcoholism and drugs yes. and all these others, Lord, and those yes. women in prostitution and, Lord, children suffering that are abused. Father, we bring them to you because you care yes. for them and your yes. angels look down on those little children. Yes. Father, we pray in Jesus name for all of these Lord we pray for jobs and work and Lord that their needs would be supplied in the precious name of Jesus we thank you amen amen, amen. amen and amen and brother Tony did you sense any other uh, anything from the Lord that you wanted to share here I feel like um, with all this trouble the country seems to be going through and and uh, I feel like we're going to see something special happening. Uh, I hope it's going to be positive, but something is going to going to happen uh, that's going to surprise all of us. And I, I, I'm, I'm believing that it's going to be something 
special from the Lord yes. that's going to infuse more enthusiasm, more power uh, to the church. Because, you know, <laughs> it, it's very easy for people to become how should I say? Well, one thing, depression and discouragement. Uh, it's been very difficult for a lot of people. Suicide is higher than it's I've probably ever been. And people are being depressed. Uh, and it's all from the devil. Because believers, we can call on the Lord. And he's the present help in the time of trouble. But if you don't know the Lord, it, it's it's bad. I mean, the, the devil really is piling it on. So we need to pray and believe. But I feel like God is going to do something very special. Uh, I, I don't know exactly how he's going to do it, but he's going to do it. And we're going to all be happy. We're going to rejoice. And as we started this program tonight, we're going to be happy because it's the Lord. Who, who brings us the joy and the joy of the Lord is our strength. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And God is getting ready to do something new. And uh, we sense in our spirits that there is still some shaking that is to happen, but it is because God wants to bring forth his plans, his blessing, his purposes back to this nation. And so sometimes for that to happen, certain things have to be shaken and moved out of the way. And uh, the passage that, uh, um, that came to be just before we started the broadcast was from Mark 2, 21 and 22. No one sews a piece of untrunk cloth on an old garment or else the new piece pulls away from the old and the tear is made worse. And no one puts new wine into old white skins or else the new wine bursts the wineskins and the wine is spilled and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. And so there are some things of the old that are going to be shaken out and uh, removed. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are just hoping for things to quote unquote go back to normal. But uh, quite frankly, they may not be as we had known them before. There is a, you know, the world has its reset, but God has his reset. And there are going to be changes. Uh, uh, there are many people who, you know, like never before, we need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit that breaks the yokes, that breaks the bondage, that breaks through in situations of sickness and disease and many churches unfortunately do not have the anointing of the holy spirit they're going to be shaken up let me tell you they will be shaken out some of that old stuff you know you can't just pour in the holy spirit into something that just does will not receive it and i'm not speaking against churches but let me tell you if you are if people are not moving on with god if people are not in tune with god and they're not allowing the holy spirit to work let me tell you god is going to find vessels that will receive that new one will receive the holy spirit and the holy spirit will move in those circles even though they may be small but god is going to find vessels who are open to him who are pliable by him and who are in tune to him and that is what god is looking for and maybe you've noticed tuning into this broadcast that it's a little different from whatever else you might be seeing out there uh, because all of the people you see on here have gone through tests, have gone through trials. Our people have anointed ministries who have been used by God in the nations of the world. And we're not just talking from head knowledge here. We're not talking uh, a lot of gobbledygook here. We're talking from experience. We're talking from revelation knowledge. We're talking to you what God wants you to hear in this hour because yes, it is a difficult hour and yes there is a shaking and unfortunately i hate to say this the shaking will continue until god's plans of 
purposes come forth in this nation. And then we will all rejoice and we will all be glad in the Lord. God wants to use you. God wants to use all of us, but we must submit to him and we must be those vessels that are ready to take what God is about to pour out and receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Isn't that what you sense, Nina? Absolutely. Um, I can't, I couldn't agree more. I just feel like Lord, the Lord gave me a dream earlier last year. And also he, he confirmed it today as I was praying that revival is coming and he's going to reset the landscape of the church. And that's what he's doing right now with all the shaking. And there's no more sitting on the fence. Either you're in or you're out and you can't be lukewarm anymore. You've got to stand up boldly for the word of God for what it stands, no matter the cost, because God is on the throne and he wants a glorious bride, a, a white, a bride, white as snow. And so he's going to come back for a victorious church, not one that's struggling. So he is resetting the landscape of the church right now. And we are it's scary and exciting for us too to be alive at such a time as this and so we are going to see God move miraculously because he told me in the spirit what I felt in the spirit is that with this revival is going to come such a healing uh, ministry that God's supernatural power is going to work in this land like never before and we're not going to believe what we even see so God is going to move miraculously in this hour so we just need to trust him stand bold in faith because he is working there is hope out there so don't lose hope God has got everything under control so do not worry Amen and amen. Uh, keep trusting God. Uh, it, it's not a cliche. This is a biblical instruction. This is very important. And be encouraged. Keep tuning in and go back and listen to some of the prior broadcasts that we had. And let me encourage you also to go to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great teaching by all of the people you see on here, by Brother Tony, Sister Marcy, myself. And you can go to Brother Tony's uh, um, a site as well, Tony Abram on uh, YouTube, and you can find a lot of his powerful teaching and preaching. And uh, But share this, share this with other people. Don't keep it to yourself. People need the anointed prayer of people like you're hearing here to break through in their lives, to give them answers now, and to encourage them to move forward. Yes, shaking is happening, and all that can be shaken will be shaken. Maybe some of the names that you think are big names will not be big names in the future of uh, things as things move on. Uh, you know, God is rearranging things. God is resetting things. God has a new move and no man is going to get credit. No man is going to own the move of God. It is a sovereign move of God. It's going to go forward and you will see people that you've never heard of. Just God raising up and using yeah. and healings and signs and wonders. Get ready and yeah. be a part of what mm -hmm. God is going to do Amen. because it is, as Brother Tony mm -hmm. said, a time to rejoice yeah. and it is going to be something new and it is something we are going to rejoice in. Yeah. Amen. So amen. Yeah. And, and um, anything else from any of um, uh, uh, Tony, Marge, or Mar Marcy? We've gone a little long, but it's okay. The, the, <laughs> the Lord is moving. I just feel like, again, for some reason, the Lord is bringing it up to just pray for Michelle again, that God would give her a successful journey and prepare the hearts in the Ukraine for the ministry that God's going to pour through her father in the name of Jesus. We have declared yes. your word. We have declared success to Michelle, Lord. We declare that in the name of Jesus, you by the Holy Spirit. You've gone ahead of her and prepared the pathway that as she ministers the word, as she ministers prayer and healing to people, that they will receive it as, Lord, you flow through her to the people of God and to those who are not saved, Lord, that they will accept you as their personal Savior. In Jesus' name, give her that mighty success. Let there be just a mighty power of the Holy Spirit and a revival as she goes there to preach from city to city. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Amen. We agree with that. Amen. And we thank you, Lord, for protecting her, for giving her great seats on every flight and protection at every juncture of her flights and her uh, local uh, train rides or car rides and Amen. every place where she ministers. Amen. Anoint her and use her mightily. Amen. And Father, we're getting a prayer request from uh, Kenya. Lord, we send your word to John Luke. We Amen. rebuke that malaria we rebuke that brain fog we rebuke that pain in yes, the name of jesus, jesus be healed right now yes, receive jesus. a touch of god in your body sickness be expelled yes. in jesus, jesus name right now yes, and if you are watching us or just join us wherever you may be at and you have sickness you have a disease or you have a child or someone in your home that needs prayer i just uh, feel the anointing of god to pray for you right now and would you just uh, extend your hand to that one who is sick if you are able maybe they're in a hospital or someplace else so just grab a handkerchief or a, or, or, or a napkin or something that you could then take to them or send to them and and if you cannot do any of that just put your hand on your heart as a point of contact and i'm going to pray for you right now the anointing of god is here and you need healing just be ready to receive be ready to receive god is about to touch you right now father the name that is above every name the name of jesus christ i find every principality every ruler of darkness that is trying to uh, bring sickness on people i come against that spirit of infirmity in the name of jesus christ you spirit of infirmity come out in the name of jesus christ pain leave in jesus name the cause of that pain be healed in jesus name right now oh father i thank you that you are healing i thank you that your power is flowing i bind those principalities those rulers of darkness i bring down those strongholds i bring every evil imagination every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of god i bring you down i bring you on under submission to the lordship of jesus christ and sickness i bind you cancer i bind you i command you cancer to die and come out of that body in jesus name out of bob abram out of every one who may be listening who has a need of healing in jesus name out of pauline in jesus name come out right now in Jesus' name, I speak healing to the esophagus, healing to every organ of the body in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And Father, I sense that someone has got arthritis, and I just command that pain to stop. I command that arthritis to leave in Jesus' name right now. Come out. In Jesus' name, someone's got a headache. Uh, it may be, uh, it's just really strong. Uh, uh, it may even be a migraine to you, but in the name of Jesus, I command it to stop. And the cause of those migraines be healed in Jesus' yes. name. No more migraines, no more pain yes. in your head. Someone may be having brain fog due to COVID or whatever you have gone through. In the name yes. of Jesus, no more brain yes. fog healing to the brain every cell in the brain be healed in jesus name right now hallelujah 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 just receive right now begin to praise god begin to praise god Thank you. Father, there are some that are praying for a child, a child that's in the hospital, and I send your word to that hospital. Touch and lift that child out yes, of that Lord. bed of affliction. Child. Be healed in Jesus' name. Child, be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Someone is is. Uh, um, <clears throat> is being affected by witchcraft. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that curse of witchcraft. Witchcraft, your curse is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, set that man free. Set that woman free, that child free. In Jesus' name, that curse is broken and they are healed 
They are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is moving. The Lord is touching. Um, if you can, try yourself, test yourself, put your faith into action. Do that right now. If you cannot do that, then just uh, uh, expect that healing, expect that miracle as, as you eat, as you drink, as you walk, as you sleep. Expect to that you have received yes, that Lord. healing, that yep. uh, miracle, that healing has begun, that miracle is yours in the name of Jesus. And you are free from that curse. You're free from that witchcraft that people have put on you receive that freedom just just say right now i renounce the work of the devil in my life and my family and if you've got any artifacts of witchcraft or spiritism you go out and throw them away break them up uh chop them up whatever you have to do break them up burn them uh get rid of those books of the occult because you do not want them in your home you do not want to have them among your family you do not want to leave an open door for the demonic in your family do that in the name of jesus christ i just said somebody's watching you've got a widget board you need to get rid of that immediately that is satanic that is demonic you're opening the door for the devil in your life and in your home you get rid of that immediately in the name of jesus christ uh, you want to be set free you do not want to leave doors open for the devil to have portals to get into your life or into your family. You are free in the name of Jesus if you have received this right now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Tony, you said something there, I think. No, uh, just that I believe that God is doing some very special uh, things in some different people that are, there's pain leaving the body. And if they'll just check themselves and claim it, They'll see that the pain has dissipated uh, in the name of Jesus. And there's arthritis melting in the name of Jesus. And there's a throat condition out there that God is healing. There's a number of other things. And all you need to do is reach out and receive. Because God is more willing to give than we are willing to receive. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. There's anointing, and God is moving, Amen. and that anointing we all need. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Anyone else, any final thoughts or, um, or words here? We're, we're going to close out here uh, very briefly, uh, very shortly, I should say, mm -hmm. Um uh, any final uh, sense, anything you sense from the Lord, anyone that you want to speak out before we close out this broadcast? Share, I just share, share. That, I, I just sense that um, God wants to restore your dreams. Uh, it just keeps coming back and back. You had dreams and visions and God has given that for you, that you're going to do this ministry, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. And all of a sudden, this COVID came and all this cancellation of everything. And you're just like hanging hopelessly now. Uh, you, you almost gave up your dream. A lot of you did give it up. And God can restore that in the name of Jesus. I declare that the restoration of those dreams and hopes and vision will be restored today. As you hear this word in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, restore that to all your people, Lord. And um, not only the COVID, but a lot of you have gotten sick. The devil just trips you up and, and you begin to believe the spirit of infirmity instead of believing the spirit of God, which says, be whole, be healed, be healthy. The spirit of infirmity say, oh, look, that one is sick and what? It's going to hold you from getting sick and so on and so forth. And when you listen to that spirit of infirmity, that's the door that you open up. The spirit of infirmity that speaks to you. Shut that door and say, spirit of infirmity, I'm not listening to you. I'm only listening to the Lord and obeying the Lord. And you will have shut that door on the devil. And so don't allow this sickness that you now have 
that you open the door. Don't allow that sickness to hinder you from having that vision that you still will fulfill because God is a healer and he can touch you right now and yeah. set you free from that sickness. Begin to look for health. Begin to look what you couldn't do before. You begin to do it and God is going to begin to use you in a mighty way. Keep that vision before you in Jesus name. Amen. And, and um, I just remembered we had requests from several people uh, from Kenya, uh, one of our graduates from our Bible school, uh, losing a job, getting ready for marriage and needing finances and, and someone um, um, who has uh, battled with, dis with the malaria and this recurrence and, and also getting ready for marriage, but you know, financial issues for father in the name of Jesus, yes. we break the curse of yes. poverty. Yes, yes. over those that are watching and in the name of jesus christ yes, we send your word there to kenya lord to sheila to john luke in the name of jesus lord touch them right yes, now touch john luke yes, and father. no more recurrence of that sickness whether yes, it be malaria or anything else healing total and complete yes, in his bloodstream yes, and his entire yes, body in yes, jesus name give him strength yes, and protection and lord i pray for the finances that he needs the finances of sheila and her fiance need for their uh, wedding lord and for their uh, upcoming life together meet that need in jesus name we pray and others out there who have similar needs thank you for providing thank you for breakthroughs lord in jesus name, in jesus name. Amen. amen well thank you for joining us join us uh during the week as the lord leads us and next saturday evening same time god bless you share with others